And here we are again from the KTM 390 Adventure R to this brand new next generation super sport bike, the KTM RC 990R. We're gonna look deep into the technical information because it's a completely new bike. It's not a 990 Duke with fairings, but it's a completely new development with its own frame, its own technology. So I'm looking forward to show you what it got. So let's start. When you meet a girl, you first look into the face, right? I would suppose. So let's start with this beautiful, sexy face. Obvious thing, the wings here. The technology comes from the MotoGP bike and the data, they measure all the data for the downforce and this is the best working wings for that bike. And they actually work and they produce a lot of downforce. Looks cool and I'm happy that it's not only a, let's say, a visual thing, but it actually works. Then one light in the in the center and uh, also a daylight here in LED technology. A very important thing when you have a super bike or super sport bike with fairings is the heat that the engine produces. KTM did a lot of development on the heat distribution and they developed this wing here. Some would think that it's for the aerodynamics, but it's actually not. It's more for the heat management, so it pushes the hot air through the uh, fairings and it pushes it away from the legs not only the wing below but also these air vents are meant for the heat distribution next thing is the dash it's crazy come an obvious thing the tft display watch out it's a touch screen also with the gloves in any weather condition offers different ride modes in stock uh, that means rain mode street mode and a sport mode and one customizable riding mode and on top of that you can add a track mode and also two additional customizable riding modes so a lot of adjustability that it offers and then we move to the buttons redesigned buttons on the right side the same here on the left side if we look closer to the right hand we have a MSC Brembo front brake master connected to the high pure brake calipers Let's talk about suspension. 48 mil on the front, WP Apex suspension, fully adjustable and also fully adjustable on the rear. But that's not all, it has a special feature. Let me show you. We have a gravity die cast swing arm. Here inside, it's pretty hard to see, but it's a new linkage system for the rear suspension. And linkage system, it provides more mechanical grip. And yeah, if you're a racer, grip is always important. Let's talk about the tank. We will not talk about the fuel capacity and the range, but the technology. For some, it's only a tank that keeps the fuel, but when you're racing, it has way more features that are important. So this tank is designed that you have additional grip here when you lean in the corners. And you, if you look at my leg, it still has a lot of space. So it's also designed for way taller riders than me. And then this part, if you lean in the corner, you can rest your elbows on the tank. And it's a lot of, a lot of thinking to design a tank for racing, to have more grip when you're leaning and to be eventually faster. Another important feature, if you are sitting on a super sport bike, is also the handlebars. Here they decided to design them more upwards. It also allows more upwards riding which means that it's meant for different sizes and different types of the bikes. We are generally used more for the lower position handlebars on super sport bikes, but here is different. I love how the KTM crew cleaned up the rear part. There is no big light. It's integrated in the turn signal lights and it makes the whole backside of the bike super futuristic and sexy. You can choose from two different color options. Here we have the electric orange and we have also a black for all the black color lovers such as me we have also a metallic black option yeah and unfortunately the engineers don't like really stunt riding and the stop is when they design that bike why because of that scoop here below <laughs> you see it here so that's the MotoGP style and that scoop helps to transfer the air and helps to keep the rear wheel in touch with the floor so when you have a harsh braking it doesn't lift that much the rear wheel <laughs> yeah and that's it that's the brand new 2025 ktm rc 990r beautiful bike i saw it for